I suppose I'd better get back to my little train ride conversation that this guy was having with me. Yeah. Mechanical you know hands. To you? Am I dreaming? Well, let's say uh, you are. The uh, map downloaded. Why not just go with Finally. Them, right? After all, you can always wake up. December 12th, 2054, 7.30 a.m. We're on board a private commuter train headed to the Zurich headquarters of the Coalescence Corporation. Our, uh, cargo. Prototype for the Winslow Accord Neural Network Initiative. At its core, specialized AI software that's capable of rewriting itself in order to interface with any other system in the world. State-of-the-art stuff back in the day. It'd go on to revolutionize a broad range of military and civilian applications. At least, it would have if the train had reached its destination. Ah. This'll be a simulation. At 1 a.m., a terrorist group detonated an explosive device on board this train. <coughs> the incident sent back our robotics program several years. You're here to stop it. Okay. Is, it can't be. What is happening? Right now, right now, you're in a medically induced coma being prepped for surgery. You've got a new bit of hardware inside your head. It's called a direct neural interface, or DNI. I've got one too. That's how I'm able to communicate with you. Your so DNI is, a simulation. is what connects your mind with your new body and the larger world around you. We're connected. All of this is a simulation inside our minds. Yep, thought so. And you got a long way to go. Hmm. Thirty AM December eleventh, twenty fifty-four. Zerk security forces receive an anonymous tip giving them the location of a hideout the terrorists are using. Unfortunately, the ZSF underestimated the firepower these assholes were packing. They got caught with their pants down. And <laughs> they took it hard. You think Outcome? come? Train go boom. You remember Diaz? I think so. I'm gonna help get you up to speed on some of the cool new shit you can do. Hello. Communication, brother. We all gotta be in sync. Yo, Taylor, you're a fucking dick. You didn't hear shit? If I wanna talk to you, the DNI transmits on a closed channel. I don't even have to think about it. But, uh, just so you know, if you ever think about calling Taylor a dick for real, brother, he's gonna mess you up worse than those robots. <laughs> all right. Let's go see if you can do this without ending up with Swiss cheese like those poor bastards. Okay, weapon hot. Break the floor with these assholes. Mm. right. There's never just one route. High, low, left, right. Different paths yield different advantages. I don't like burst weapons. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't like burst weapons, but I mean, I'll use it. Crap. I'm gonna go this way. There's never just one route. High, low, left, right. Different paths, different advantages. Your DNI can provide combat critical info to help you better read the battlefield. 
Switch it to tactical mode. Like opening your eyes. Time, right? Alright, use your enhanced mobility. It may take a little getting used to, but your confidence will soon grow. Try it for yourself. I got a hunter that says you can do it. Not oh. bad, newbie. Not bad. Oops. <clears throat> that mode will highlight inbound threats such as rockets and grenades. Use the flashing red. One grenade is that. One of us sees something, we all see it. Even through cover. Check your ammo. Grab more if you need it. Well poop. This is This is different. DNI doesn't just help us communicate with each other. It allows us to interact with a variety of computer systems, including pretty much all the basic drone units. Now bipeds, sophisticated ground units, those are a whole lot trickier, brother. Those sons of bitches got a damn hive mind. You try to process and control all that? Your brain is toast. <laughs> but these? These fuckers are easy. Go ahead. Hack in. Go see what's on the other side of this wall. Fits like a glove, right? Now somewhere through there is a generator. Take it out and that door should open. Somewhere through where? Ah, oh, here. Fire! There she is. Blow that generator so we can get this up. I'm afraid the EMP blast from the generator can fried your drum. Come on, let's go! Come on. Grab fresh ammo whenever you see an ammo crate. 
last thing you want is to be in a fight with no bullets. <laughs> I'll agree with that. Sick of this coughing. This bloody weather is hot and cold. This makes everyone cook. Back in Ethiopia. The grunts, I, I lived it all again. What's happening to me? Shit. You know how your senses can trigger vivid memories? Make you think of sounds, sights, words from songs. Make you think of stuff you haven't thought of in years. DNI can make that a lot more visceral. Little huh. glitches on your optics, little whispers in your ear. This shit happens. The doctor can straighten it out. You just need to recalibrate your meds. Trust me, you're gonna be fine. So what now? Oh, right now? You're gonna interface with that console. As soon as you plug in, you'll be able to extract and process the information in a heartbeat. Okay. Got it. They had a man on the inside <coughs> at Coalescence. He would have been able to supply them with everything they needed to bypass the security on the train. The botched assault, man. It took six hours for the ZSF to get that information. Outcome? Train go boom. It took you just six minutes. Yeah, it would have been five. If you hadn't freaked out when you saw those robots. So what happens now? Now we go find the son of a bitch. Okay, in the simulation or in real life? <sighs> hmm. Off by his terrorist pals. The mole is ready for him. He had heavy duty combat grunts with him. 
Once again, the Zerk security force got their asses handed to them. Out come. Train go boom. We lost him. He slipped away. You remember Specialist Sarah Hall? She's gonna walk you through the next part. Trust her, do exactly what she says. I trained her myself. She's an intelligence expert from back when that actually meant something. Before DNI, you had to read books. In the Academy, Taylor made me read a lot of them. Well, some knowledge is worth earning. Appreciate it. And that takes time. Time is something we don't always have. Okay, New Blood. From this point on, the simulation deviates from actual events. Not that it's gonna feel any less real. Use your imagination. Sending his location to your HUD. Come on now, pick up the trail. Check your fire, civilians are not targets. I still have line of sight. Jesus. Our boy's hacking the ZSF talents. What does that tell you? He's running scared, not sitting behind a computer. He could only be controlling him if he's got a DNI, too. You're a smart one, New Blood. I'll give you that. Son of a bitch is still moving. Use that billboard to get over the maglev train. At least keep caught up first. Don't lose him now, newbie. See where you went wrong? Oh. Well, excuse me if I did something wrong. Don't take him out, newbie. We need him alive. Grab him, new blood. Now's your chance. Take him down. Gotcha. Didn't work out so well, huh? I reckon our suspect has about 15 seconds left before he shakes hands with the Grim Reaper. You can't let that happen. Not before you get the information we need. I don't think he's in any condition to talk. He doesn't have to. He has a DNI. Buried beneath layers of security protocols, the subject's DNI records cam footage of the user's past experiences. In extreme circumstances, it is possible to extract that information by force. You'll be able to push deep into the subject's memories, their thoughts, even their subconscious. You could learn everything we need to know about the terrorist plans. I'm sensing a but coming up somewhere. But? You should know. Not only will this procedure be deeply traumatic for the subject, but the associated subconscious interference will leave him brain dead. Dead. Believe me, this is a bad way to go. <laughs> he's a dead man anyway. Besides, he's a fucking terrorist. Whoa. And he's a vegetable. A few minutes ago, you knew nothing. What do you know now? I know where they are. They're using the old train tunnel to plan their attack. Hmm. But you just learned that your DNI took the ZSF weeks to uncover. What do you think I'm going to say next? Outcome. Train go boom. <laughs> it's good to know you can make tough decisions when you have to. 
I think it's time we moved on. Okay. I'm liking this. This is good. SF finally tracked down the terrorists to this location. They're sick. They really wish they had. You're still here, huh? Pity. I bet D has a hundred that you'd be dead by now. Funny man, specialist Peter Moretti. He's gonna help <laughs> you understand how much of a badass motherfucker you are now. But remember, we still don't have the last piece of the puzzle. How in the hell they got the explosives on board the train? So we're clear? When this is over? You owe me a hundred. Back to business. As you know, one of the perks of being Black Ops is having access to the latest in experimental weaponry. Firearms may be your go-to choice for a weapon in a fight. But with D&I, your mind truly is your greatest weapon. Let's do some damage. Make them blow them up, like blow themselves up. Make them explode. We'll make a soldier out of you yet. I knew I'd be getting close to dying. Take my nano swarm. Take it and we'll make a soldier out of you yet. Burn or whatever it is they do to you.
That's how you get shit done. And the Nuketown map uh, downloaded as well. Good. Now both of my bonus maps are downloaded, thankfully. Okay. Nice. <clears throat> They're using smoke grenades. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. Hold on. To your EV helps whenever you're blind, whether in the dark or in smoke. Adjust your optics. You can see through smoke just as well. Not bad, new blood. Party ain't over yet. Let's move. <coughs> I got bots moving that rail car. Shred em. Oh god, let's just hide in the corner. Keep it up! Dead now. Looks like they got into the water treatment plant through here. On me. Field ops kid. Burn. You got this.
Hey. That wasn't nice. Jeez. That was not nice at all. Bastard. <laughs> well. Well, 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 well. Anyway. That's half an hour, so... Don't want to drag it out too much. I get a feeling this training stuff is actually going to take a while. <laughs> uh, so yeah, anyway. I will leave it at that for this video. And I will see you all in the next one.